So we have been on a journey for five years leading the attention economy um, at Dentsu, and we've really been leading the research behind this large, it's the largest actually, um, scope and scale study um, where we actually can take the research that we have and ingest it into our planning suite um, to use it along the journey as we plan for our media channel buying. Why did Dentsu decide to measure attention in audio advertising specifically? Um, audio is having somewhat of a resurgence, so definitely makes sense. We've done this across other channels, so it just made sense to actually um, go to the next channel that's having that resurgence, that growth, and to really see the connection that um, consumers are making in the audio space. Um, audio is one of the highest reach, ve reach vehicles, but a lot of clients, I think, and a lot of people question that because it's all about listening, not about seeing. Um, so um, that is essentially why we, we bridged out into audio um, in the attention economy. And how did Dentsu create a, a way to study and measure attention in audio? So we've worked with Lumen um, and we've looked um, to them to look into environments that essentially emulate that audio um, and to see how we can essentially um, build upon what is happening in the audio space. Um, obviously from what I talked about before of you know not seeing and hearing um, and what are people hearing and then how are people reacting to what they're hearing. Overall, what did the stu study tell us about attention in audio? So we worked with um, six different partners, which was like the first time ever all of these audio partners working together. Um, and with that, it ultimately beat out a lot of the Dentsu norms that we have. They were higher than almost all of them um, that we have today um, and essentially proved out that audio works um, and that audio can create um, good attention. What were the key findings across different formats, such as podcasts, radio and streaming? Some of the key findings that we found um, across radio, podcasting, and streaming are um, driving um, the highest impressions um, of attentive impressions, um, high brand recall, um, as is beating out some of our norms that we had across some of our other media types. Um, streaming really had um, that brand recall, which is, you know, I think going along with what we've seen about streaming is that premium brand connection, brand recall. Um, so it proved out a lot of things um, that we're thinking out, but, but it also was just the highest that we've seen in terms of attention. So what's next for the attention economy? What's next? Um, we're not stopping. Um, we've talked about in the marketplace sharing our data to get a standardized measurement. Um, and then we also are looking into gaming. We've done um, out of home. Um, so those results hopefully to come soon. But we've continued on to all channels and we will continue and build it into our planning tools so that we can get better planning against attentive reach.